Welcome to I Love Stocks, and today I want to talk about a stock I got into on Friday, and that is Alibaba. Baba. Now, I really do like this company. I'm an admirer of Jack Ma. I think he's kind of a rebel to China, but it's kind of slapped him in the face here in the last year when he tried to stand up, stand up to their uh, regime. So, after I got into the stock, or I got into the uh, option, Alibaba came out with some real, I thought was fairly good news. China finds Alibaba a record 2.8 billion after the monopoly probe. So this will kind of end a lot of uncertainty. And this is just a little slap on the wrist, I would say, to Alibaba. This represents about 12% of the uh, net income that they did in 2020. And they'll easily make that back in the next couple of months. So I'm fairly excited about this and I think we're ready for a good rebound and I like to set up on it that I got into it on Friday and I'm going to show you the chart. So we're looking at a yearly pivot point and I'm going to call that up right around here right around this oh I'd say 255 area 255 pretty much exact go up here and change this. The chart that I'm using is my SMA chart. I have the uh, 200 the 50 and the 20 on here. And I like to reference this when I'm pulling up a yearly or I'm trying to figure out if I want to get into the trade or not. But this is the yearly pivot point and that's at 255. So we got down here and we were kind of soaring in like I thought was a good little double bottom here in the last 20 days. And we did hit that double bottom. And then it kind of had another confirmation right over here on this candle right in here which I'm going to go ahead and draw that line in right now. And that's right around the 222 area. So we're going to look for a resistance level. Now I think this can easily run back up here to at least 230 and break that 200. I mean that 20. We've had trouble breaking that 20 here in the last month. And I do believe that it can run back up here and then I'll run up and hit this 50 SMA. I like that 50 SMA right there because it's definitely at a good resistance level. As you can see right in here and right in here, we did break out pretty nice and she had a nice run. And I think we can get the same kind of response this time off this news. There's a lot of bears that have turned bullish on it that I've noticed in the social media area. And there's just a few bears that are standing up saying this is bad news. To me, it's great news. So we're going to go ahead and draw us a trend line right here at 230.39. That runs right into that 20 day and it also matches along with a lot of these extended candles that I have for a solid support level. So that 230. And then we're going to have a little pivot point area between this 222 area and this 230 area and that's going to be right in here and that's going to be the resistance that we need to break right at 226.32. Now if this does decide to, which I think it can, it could probably open up higher 10-15 bucks right at open. But if it does pull back from the, from the opening, I think it'll be a strong buy. And that low support level, to me, is going to be right down here in the 216 area. 216.92, I'd like to see that hold. If not, I need to come back over down in here and try to find me another little support level. And I can't see it going any lower than that 207, which I'm doubting very seriously. I think we're setting up pretty nice to go ahead and have a breakout. So let's pull up the 20-day, one hour. And just kind of get a look at this. We did have another support level right down here, and I'm going to draw that in right at 219. So you've got your three support levels. We have a 222.03. I'm going to see that hold if it does pull back pre market to the 219.28 and have some volatility. You'll see some volatility in this stock right, right at open, especially when the market opens up at 3 a.m. And I'm going to see where this thing's headed. Now if we open up higher and we hit this 226 and it pulls back, there's a little pivot point area in this channel too of support and that's going to be a resistance level to break and that's going to be right in here and right here on the 20 day. So I've got three resistances that we got to hit and remember that 230 is where that 20 day hit on that 200, I mean on that yearly chart. So that's going to be long. And I think we can take this all the way back up here on the 20 day easily to 232 come Monday. And that's going to be right in here. 
and some people have targets up here on the 20 day and that's going to be that 240 area so we could see all these here in the next week or two but the hard resistance to break if we do break past that like i said on that um 230 area you're going to have that's going to be a hard resistance and then you'll have this other one here at 232 38 with your lower supports at 216.62, 219.28, 28 and then I'm going to see that 222 hold and hopefully break out. I got in this stock using my Tastyworks platform. I got into the 225. I got in small thinking that if it did pull back, I'd buy some more of it. But I went ahead and held it. I was up after hours. And that option was the... Uh, Last time I traded it, I didn't do too well. I actually lost about 75, but I think this one here is going to make up for that real easily. This is the the uh, 225 strike call at April 16th, and I got in at 320, and right now we're at 377. So I'll definitely add on to this position and go farther out. And when I mean go farther out, I'm probably going all the way out here to right around the mate. Well, I don't know. Give it at least a good month here at May 21 and try to get in at this 240 strike and if it's not that one I'll get into the 250 and just hold it and watch it ride up to 250 so that's it for Alibaba I'm very bullish on it social media is awful also acting like they're bullish on it and we're gonna see this thing run and let me see where my thing is so that's Baba let's see how she reacts on Monday Always, Miss Vegas is always posting her alerts in here on Twitter. So if you're not a member to our room, you can always follow our alerts in here on Twitter. We had a real nice run on Apple. We played that just like a charm on Friday. I scalped it, and I have a long position just under uh, 120. So me and O. Cayman was talking about it. And then Mr. Wall Street, he's very bullish on the trade too. I think a lot of people in the room are bullish, and we can go higher on Apple. So keep a good eye on Apple to also next week. And I'm in it long. I think we can go a little bit higher. And I did a video previously. If you want to go back to I Love Stocks, you can hit this little channel right here. This takes you, well, this takes you to our stock twits. And we do have links there. And also you can go to the YouTube channel. This is the little video I did here on Apple the other day. You can watch it and look for my resistance levels and my support levels on it. And I'll probably do an update video on Apple too, probably tomorrow. And I wish everybody a gate. If you do like this video, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and hit that like button. Always remember, I love stocks. And see you Monday.